What's up, YouTube? Here we are on um, March 6th, right? No, 7th. March 7th, and today we're at Costco. Pretty exciting. We got the whole lineup. You can see what that is, right? Let's pull it out. We got Glizzies. Already dressed up. We got, they're big, they're big dogs. We just go right in. No hesitation. Yeah, I guess. Cheers. Cheers. Like big blizzard. Mmm. Incredible. Wow. Holy shit. This is big. Huge. I feel like they advertise the weight of it, right? Isn't it like is it a half pound dog or like a quarter pound dog or something? It's got some weight to it. We got plenty of ketchup and mustard on there. This bun is like super, super soft sesame seed bun. Yep. And then it's just like a nice, really meaty, juicy ass dog. Mm. Mm hmm. Doesn't need too much more. This isn't a cart dog. There's no kraut in there, no relish. No. But we kept it straight up. It's good, simple. That's what Costco's about, I think. And how much was this? Dollar fifty with a soda. Dollar fifty. Perfect soda segue. Honestly. What did we get? Owen was in charge of the sodas. Miguel's got Pepsi. We gotta show them the, the, the lid situation. Mm -hmm. No straw. It's like, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that, my, is that you that did that? Or we both <laughs> did at the same time, I think. It's just got like, it's a weird, it's, it's like, like a sippy cup lid. It's a lid. sip lid as exhibited by us. Which one is that one? So I got raspberry iced tea, brisk, with a little bit of lemonade pumped in it. And a lot of ice. And it's refreshing. Great, great refreshment for those between blizzy bites. Mm. Alright, what else what else do we got going on here? I Miguel? can't I can't move on yet. Can't even think about it. <laughs> this is the hot dog moment right now. Mm. We got a guy sitting right next to us in his minivan. Mm hmm We have a beautiful view of Long Island City here. Miguel has demanded full attention to these glizzies right now. So the rest of what we're going to be eating is a surprise. We're taking it in the moment. You'll have to wait and find out. Playing hard to get in this video. It is damn good though. Like we're getting through a good chunk of it. I've got a big chunk of dog without... And I'm not sick of it yet. I'm not going to want that. Gotta have the mustard. At least. So, since our last chat, um, obviously I informed you guys that I quit my job. It's been in like a good week and a half. Um, I've just been relaxing, like getting back to myself. Sita the other day said to me, that she hasn't seen me so like smiley and like laughy in a long time. I feel a lot happier. It's been a good transition. You didn't even know what day it was today. <laughs> <laughs> I never know what day it is anymore. It's only been a week and a half. That a uh, raspberry brisk is good. With a little pump of lemon. It is good. Refreshing. It's like watered down though, kinda. You didn't put water in there, it tastes watery. Mm -hmm. The Pepsi, though, that is like the hot dog combo right there. Full blown Pepsi. Mm. That tastes a little watered down, too, actually. 
Costco water is down there in soda machine. Well, we just had McDonald's fountain sodas, and McDonald's pumps them. Yeah. That's that's my base level. And if they pump them, I need my shit pumped. Yeah. Why wouldn't they pump it? I'm having an art show this week, and Miguel is catering. He's gonna be making us some snacks. Yeah, some croquetas with a bunch of different mushrooms. Crazy lineup. So got some stuff for that at Costco. Got some some cheeses. Mm-hmm. And we got a bunch of alcohol for Costco too. I mean, for the show. Stocked up. Oh. And it's the taxi cab driver. Oh, that's cute. It's a cute. It's a cute scene. All right, we should move on. Yep. <coughs> this is a you get to decide what happens next. This is an empty bag. That was a... You get to decide. We're going pizza next. Or should we go pizza last? I think we go well, pizza last. Actually. Now, now we know what it is, so we gotta uh, keep it. We gotta, we gotta going. keep it pizza. You're right. We gotta, you said pizza. Now it's pizza time. <laughs> Keeping it 100 with the pizza. Here, take the pizza. Show it to the people. This is our pizza. Just a classic. Wow, that's really pretty, actually. So I saw the Costco AI pizza spinner. Have you heard about this? No. It like puts the marinara on the pizza, and it's like a thing that extends over the pizza and then spirals the marinara on. Classic New York fold. Thick slice to be doing that, but mm. that's how you face this grease monster. I wonder mm. if they can. Can you tell how heavy that is? Bang for your buck going down here. It's heavy. We're gonna be stuffed. After the hot dog, even sharing the pizza, after the pizza round, we're gonna be stuffed. Yeah, and we got something else. We didn't even do all that, but. Our extra secret surprise is still coming up. But first, how much was this pizza? <clears throat> Priceless for that reaction. I guess two dollars. Right on the money. I probably saw it in there. The, this pizza takes me right back to like basement church youth group. Yeah, this is like laser tag pizza. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or like if if you went to a good bowling alley. Yeah, it's solid bowling alley pizza. Mm -hmm. Solid church basement pizza. Like, what's up with this guy in church? He keeps talking about church. <sighs> That's a lot of stuff to talk about. <laughs> really good, though. If I'm ranking the Costco hot dog on a scale of hot dogs, it's an elite hot dog. If I'm ranking Costco pizza, on all pizzas, mid tier. You can get the vibe just from like how the cheese is melting on the crust. Like. Yeah, if you don't know what this tastes like, I don't know. Mm, no, you never grew up. Yeah, you know exactly what this tastes like. Kind of got to appreciate that though. This one, like, that's why I threw my head back. It, like, jumps you back in time like a hot tub. Bro flew back into his 11 year old body. <laughs> mm, good cheese bite there. You don't really like the crust, huh? I'd skip it. It Owen, was up to me. No one tends to leave the crust. Don't you like leave the crust and then eat it at the end? Sometimes? Because I feel yeah. like you've left the crust before and I'm like, are you going to have that? And you're often like, yeah, chill. Yeah, I like to, like, usually I go through all of the good pieces of the pizza, aka the cheese and the sauce. And then once I have, like, three or four crusts left over, then I, like, dip them in hot sauce, usually. Or, like, put some hot sauce on it. I need something for that crust, though. 
can't be eating plain crust. Unless it's like wow. this crust, I just had that bite. Did you get anything tonight that you're like excited about? Like something random? Well, I think the bulgogi is going to be insane. Mm -hmm. It's sitting right here. Should we show them? Sure. Little hall. We have to barbecue this up this weekend. I don't think this is going to spill. It's some, it? yeah, some Korean barbecue. Beef. Short rib? Something like that? I think it's flank. Gonna throw that on the grill later this week. Soy sauce, barbecue sauce, sugar. I'm Just excited. Marinating with excited onions. For sure. What about you? Any fun Costco pickups that you didn't expect? Mm. Or you grabbed a couple things. Absolutely, I got treats. Lobster bisque soup. Yeah. That was the big one. It's like two tubs of it that are each like over a pound. And it was ten dollars. So I don't know. I'm a sucker for lobster bisque. I think that shit's yummy as fuck. That wouldn't have caught my eye or it didn't. You know, I actually like stood by it and like looked at it for a while, like probably a minute, gave up on it, decided I wasn't gonna get it, and then I was like came back to it like a minute or two later which is the thought process in Costco. Oh and I did this thing in there where we both just like went our separate ways for like 15 minutes and kept walking by each other and didn't say anything and <laughs> <laughs> we were just like on the prowl. I mean that's our relationship though. Yeah. Came back together. We're not codependent. Not, not we can, in there. We can parallel play. Exactly. <laughs> So should we have this last thing here? Yeah. We gotta finish this crust off. Not finishing the crust. I, I'll, I'll have another crust bite. Mm, I won't actually. I won't. I changed my mind. I'm gonna put it near you. So here is our third and final thing we got in the. Surprise! You gonna pull it out? Sure. I don't even know what this is, you guys. I actually don't even know what's in it either. It's a chicken bake. Which, I, which I feel like I had before as a child. I think it's, ch it's the rotisserie chicken oh, and cheese. Come on, come on. There may be something else, but... See that in there, you guys? Who knows what that is? Rotisserie chicken and cheese, it sounds like. As far as I know. Maybe there's another thing in there. Mmm. Mmm. Insane. Wish I had a knife, you know? <laughs> it's like a gourmet hot pocket, kind of. Mm -hmm. The rotisserie chicken was dead on. Got a creamy, cheesy sauce in there with it. Pretty simple with the stuffing. And then I feel like we got like some Parmesan encrusting going on with this. That's what it is, yeah with this dough it's quite nice a lot of crust they didn't need to go so hard on the crust but they did i think that like with a sauce this could be insane there i'm starting to need a sauce as well with the right sauce like you need something tangy yeah let's build that sauce. it's rich you need something tangy I'm pleasantly surprised though. If this was the first thing we ate, I probably wouldn't need a sauce. Oh! That this would like, actually be This is like a good, glaze, though. but I feel like it'd be good, that right? That would be fire. All right, another random thing I got at Costco. This is getting good. This is getting exciting. Roasted jalapeno, I mean, roasted pineapple and habanero glaze and finishing sauce. But we I need think, that. We need that. I think with these chicken. Put you start it on the plate. <clears throat> oh, yeah. This is going on the plate with the pizza dough. I'll be eating the pizza dough with this too. I'm so excited. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this turn. You guys want to give that a sniff? 
This is everything that this Give needs, you guys. Give it a sniff before we... Mmm. It's interesting. It's more pineapple -y. spicy. You definitely are going to get those sweet notes. I think it's going to break up, like, the savoriness of this so nicely. Oh, man. Probably won't be able to see this, but... You can here. see I'll get a nice dip. Look at that. A nice sauce. Mmm. Mmm. I just got like a pineapple bite. Oh my god. That's <laughs> everything that it needed. We thought and we were right. Wow. That pineapple sauce is good. That may well be the sauce of the summer. Mm-hmm. Would be great with like, it's kind of like a sweet and sour. Like, mm -hmm. crab rangoons would be so fire. Oh my that. God. Wow. The homemade crabbies. Wow. I'm so happy that this little this little random association happened. Yeah. And we got to plug that sauce. Let's plug it again. Yeah, I mean, let's put a little more on the plate. I'm saying. Now that we tried that, I'm gonna need to give it the replug. Doesn't it say Rothschild? Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. That's weird. Robert Rothschild Farm. Established in 1984. Can't trust a Rothschild. Westchester, Ohio. Well, oh, maybe we'll an be... Ohio Rothschild, though. That's a different vibe. There's a pineapple on the side. Bro, went to Ohio. Side. It is mild, for sure. It's fair. It, there's, like, no spiciness. Mm. They put habanero on that thing. Don't be afraid. No. This is sweet. The spice that that adds is purely flavor. And it's so nice. Habanero, oh. habanero will do that. I need, bite. I need some of that. It was split a little uneven. Though. I got a bigger bite. Bigger half. Bigger Bro, half. that that pineapple... I, I'm not the biggest pineapple fan, and... I'm in... I'm, I'm impressed. Mm. This is a Costco app for pineapple. Huh? Yummy as fuck. We need napkins. Oh, fuck. I always forget they don't give you napkins. With that pineapple sauce in the mix now. Oh, good move. A little hand sanny. Wow. Wipe it off on the sleevos. That's how I do it. Want one more bite? Yeah. I follow you. This sauce has officially made this addicting. Cheers, you guys. Mm. The chicken bake was definitely a... Mm. Wow, that really came together. What's the chicken bake? So you hadn't had that before? Mm -mm. Nope. How much do you think the chicken bake was after having it? $30. Huh? Three? Four. Mm. I believe. I think it used to be cheaper. It is another level. Like, it's not just, like, a slice of pizza. It's got more going on. Mm-hmm. Mmm, that was good, though. Fuck. Wow. I was about to break up the fucking rotisserie chicken, but we're not going to need that. Let's show it to them, though. You can see. I would have had to. This shit is heavy. We can talk about value for a second. Look at how stuffed this thing is. This is a heavy ass chicken. Five dollars. Four ninety nine. Peak America. Like, you can say whatever you want. I have a lot of qualms with America, but that ro 
rotisserie chicken makes up for a lot of evil. Worth a little spray. <laughs> you know, we can go to war. We can keep the rotisserie chicken. Right? Yeah. For real. It's worth the war. Alright, and now we'll show you where we are. First of all, this was an epic parking lot. Epic costume. Just greased up the camera. <laughs> epic parking lot. And then we got, what is this? The Upper East Side? Right? No, it's Long Island City. That? Oh, no, that's the Upper East Side. Yeah, that's the Upper East Side we're, over there. We're in Long Island City. Across the, across the river. Pretty beautiful. Beautiful way to eat a meal.